I found an old book up in the attic. I opened it up and this is what I found. A treatise on Kabbalah as practiced in medieval Spain. interesting because the first time I didn't notice. Yeah, that, that's is. what it was, the string releasing from the fret. Yeah. Yeah. So tiny. It's so tiny. But, but people are going to listen to it and they're going to listen to it with headphones. Yeah. You know, it's I just It's amazing think, what you hear on headphones. That's that right. That's right. Yeah. 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 And um, as we said earlier, sometimes imperfections are what make something sound really good, but also they can also distract if they're the wrong imperfections, yeah. you know. Uh, the thing that taught me was glockenspiel. If I was going to a hi-fi shop to listen to some speakers, I would bring in an orchestral piece like Debussy or Ravel or, say, the Planet Suite to see whether you could hear the glockenspiel because the glock or the celeste, sort of the high pitch, and if it's compressed, you often don't hear it very well. No, yeah. but put the headphones on. All of a sudden there's glockenspiel. Oh, yes, Ooh, that's right. There's four other instruments there yes. that I haven't heard before. That's right, that's right. One of the things that I was exposed to was his ability to write what I guess could be called classical symphonic style music and the piece that comes to mind is um, Shalom Salam, a piece written for um, strings and when I listened to it I realised that Robert really was a renaissance man because he was able to use his knowledge and skills and his abilities to write and compose but was also tapping into something far more important to him and that was his own spirituality. Shalom Salam, it's very representative of the Israeli Jewish culture and at the same time that Eastern, Middle Eastern culture and the words really mean the same thing and what Robert's able to do is to tap into something which is very basic in people, the need to express themselves, the need to understand that really everything is one and it's only our own misgivings and politics and those sorts of things which really get in the way of us being uh, uniquely together. his innermost thoughts to us, the listener. Either acoustic guitar or piano in his backings on these um, songs, but anyone who's in this room tonight who's a songwriter knows that a truly great song sounds incredible when it's played either on guitar or piano, when it's just presented with the most minimal. That's how you tell a great song. It doesn't need anything more than the most minimal. Well, we've got minimal. The original meeting for, with Philip Glass was actually 
uh, in Adelaide. We'd gone to see a movie called Repo Man and Phil Glass and his band had gone to see Repo Man as well. So we met on what was called in Adelaide the Beehive Corner. And it was, it was hilarious to meet this guy that I'd heard about for years and his work I'd admired, particularly Einstein on the beach, to just meet at this little corner where we all met in Adelaide. But that grew into Melissa Fenley throwing a, uh, a dinner party for me and Philip to meet and talk. We talked mainly about Pitt and Dejara music, which I'd studied. And then later in New York City, we kind of hung out. Robert's a legendary Australian composer. He sings and he plays his songs of loss and chance meetings. Um, he's a music chameleon, having created a body of work ranging from rock to classical and back again. Um, taking in avant-garde, folk, dance, theatre and film music along the way. So the e eclectic, innovative and totally entertaining Robert Lloyd, please welcome him. Thank you. <laughs> in the city lived in the mountains searched in India danced in fountains climbed up tall trees to see from afar searched in monasteries after abandoning my car The road is hard The journey long Today all I have Is this little lonely song I'm singing Just to please your ear will draw you near I'm sitting at the window I'm learning to be still In this moment This precious moment This present moment precious moment Navigator down rivers to avoid the rocks imported strange cargo that got lost on the docks being tempted in Paris Got every wish been taken upstream to smoke hashish. In my world, there's been strange and wonderful things. I try to be open to all that life brings. has come to empty my room Taking it out with a heart-shaped broom I'm Looking out the window Learning to be still In this moment Something Philip said to me was, 
we were talking about how our entrees into the music scene weren't particularly conventional because he was in a sense ostracized for quite a while and I could you know kind of knew that feeling and uh, I said something like maybe we came through the back door and he said no I think we came through the side door when no one was looking Come my beloved Let us go out into the fields Come my beloved Let us go out into the field And lie all night